Hello everybody and welcome back to the second episode of Let's Play Banished. Today we are going to take a little time in the beginning here to try and plan out a little bit of our village for later on in the game. I was kind of realizing as I edited last video that if we continue the village this way it's just not going to be very good near the end. So let's go ahead and pause it. Right now we are in autumn in our second year so we're all good there. Probably, I think, are we getting rid of crops right now? Yeah, I think we're getting rid of crops. So, my idea, my plan for this is I want to take a market and I want the market to kind of be the center of maybe like a little pod of the city and we'll have pods like scattered throughout, if that makes sense. So, it'll kind of be the same design multiple times. So, uh, right now, for this size of a village, a market's a really bad idea because it's just going to take up all of our resources. But what I'm going to do, and I think this would be a good spot. I think I'll have room to put everything else in that I want to. Uh, we're just going to kind of plan out the city ahead of time, so we're just going to pause this market. Since we're basing it, putting the market in the middle and kind of basing the rest of the village off of it, I'm just going to have this here for so I could kind of base the village off of it, if that makes sense, but I'm not actually going to build it right now. So the market is the biggest, and then I wasn't sure about this, if I want to put the town hall here or a church. I think these are the two next biggest buildings outside of a market. And I think I might want to do a uh, town hall here, and then if we do continue with this design, then um, we can... Uh, we can put chapels there or something. But let's go ahead and let's just take out all this stuff right here. Just so that way we have kind of a clean slate to go off of. And uh, I think we'll go maybe to there. And then let's just start the time up again from 10 speed. So let's get started with this. How many laborers do we have? We actually have zero laborers. So let's put all of our workers over to there. And is there anyone else I could kind of get rid of? Not really. So we built this near the end of last episode. And they still haven't gotten rid of the iron and the rock around here. Which I forgot about, to be honest. Completely forgot about that. So we're going to need to wait till they get rid of all of that. Because I, I, that's kind of like first priority right now. We did just get a new laborer though. So last episode went really well, you guys really liked it, and I was kind of, I knew some people had suggested it and really wanted to play it, wanted me to play it in the past, I cannot speak already, but uh, you guys got really excited about it, so that's good, I'm glad, and uh, I just really wanted to play this game, which is why I've done two videos in a row of it now. I'll try not to make that a habit, but I just love this game, I really, really like it, it's one of my favorite games right now, we just got another laborer. So, um, let's see here. What else can we do? I think we're going to need some more. The reserve of tools is low. So we're going to need to fix that. Let's go ahead and pause momentarily. And we need a blacksmith for that, which is right here. I always get confused where some of the buildings are. So, since we're going to be kind of making this pod as we build more things off of it, I'll get rid of more things kind of in this area. We're definitely going to keep houses over here though. So that way the workers for the fields kind of have houses. But we're going to slowly migrate everything over to kind of this area. I do want to get this cleared out though before I start oops, before I start adding more things to it. Just so that I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. And uh, let's get some builders over here. Let's get two builders because... Uh, we have zero tools left, and we need our workers to have tools. Or it would be preferable if our workers had tools. And what is full? Um, stone and log and iron and all that stuff storage. Okay, for one, I want to get priority set to here. And then I can just go ahead and throw another stockpile down somewhere. Let's see, can we do... I guess just just do that. I'll probably migrate these stockpiles over to somewhere else soon too because these are just like weird sized small ones which is kind of annoying. So uh, let's see here we got another laborer. We're probably gonna need to get more houses soon because um, we only have five kids left and the rest are adults 
which means, and I don't think we're really getting any new babies, which means the houses are full and no one really wants to have kids when their house is completely full. Okay, how is this doing here? So this is almost done over here. Let's go ahead and how is this doing? Uh, are we low on something? I don't think so. We have enough stone, we have enough iron. I think they're just taking a while to get everything over to it. Um, let's go ahead and add another two builders so that way we can get some more houses going. And again, I'm going to migrate all these things over eventually. I'm kind of tempted to maybe add some stuff around the market so that way there's less stuff that I need to get rid of. But let's just go ahead and do this. And I think I'm also going to add some more crop fields. Just two more for right now. Because if our village is going to be growing steadily, then um, oh, we need to get rid of that. Um, if our village is going to be growing steadily, then we're going to need more food every year. So we need to do this. Just two more fields, though. Not too big. Ugh, get rid of the road, guys. And let's go ahead and add a dude in here. And uh, 50 tools is good enough for now, I think. I think it should be. I don't want it to use up all of my iron is the thing. And what are these here? These are pumpkins. So let's put more pumpkins here. Add another worker. Add another worker. There we go. So let's see here. We only need two builders. Let's get rid of those. Set priority. I might go ahead and go in a minute just until they get all the stuff cleared out. All these crops and stuff cleared out so we can start working on this. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and set priority to this stuff momentarily. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and set priority to this because I don't really care about the rocks over here a lot. They cleared out quite a bit of it. I think they've actually pretty much cleared out all of them in this area. So I don't really mind too much and you can see there's little baby trees all around here. So once this area becomes completely full of trees, which should happen in a year or two, then I'm probably going to get rid of this and put maybe a herbalist in there. Because over here our average health has dropped quite a bit. We're already into summer of year 3, sweet. Uh, but yeah, this this little, our health has dropped quite a bit. So I'm thinking I might want to put a herbalist in there. I think I was thinking about putting something else in there. I don't remember what it was. But I don't think it was a herbalist. I think it was... Oh, I think it was a gatherer. But I think we can put a herbalist and gatherer together, so that should be fine. And, um, can someone please get rid of this road so I can add more, add more fields? Just this one. Oh, hey, I never noticed that this little sign is, like, the, the banished logo. The, the pickaxe and the axe. I always just thought it was a cross. What am I looking for? Um, a field. There we go plop that in here. I'm not going to add any roads over here because I just don't want to distract any anyone anymore. If that made sense. I feel like I just butchered that. Uh, and this field I don't think is actually even going to get used. So that was, that was kind of pointless. And let's see here. This is actually full. Reserve of food is low. What was... Oh, I was looking at that. I was thinking I was looking at the barn. The barn? <laughs> now I have an accent. Um, but yeah. Okay, so I think I'm going to go momentarily until they get this all done. And that should be done pretty soon. And then I will be back. Alrighty, so they have finished clearing out the area. I sat here for a while thinking, why are they not clearing out this cluster of trees? But it's because I have the market pass. So that makes sense. So what we're going to do is we're just going to plan this out a little bit. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, the town hall right here. I think this should be able to sit in the middle pretty well. And I'll leave those. So we should be able to put a path through there, I think. Let's just make sure real quick. Because I want to be able to put paths through things. Yes, I can put a path right there. And then um, I think we're going to put... I want to make this kind of symmetrical. So that way I can just do half of it. And then I can do another half later. So I think I'm going to go ahead and kind of just try to get kind of one of each building in. Um, at least buildings that aren't resource gathering buildings. So let's go ahead and do 
if I can find the right one. Here we are. I always think of this as gathering resources, but this is production of resource, and then this one's resource gathering. I don't know. I always screw that up. So let's go ahead and maybe I want to put this up here, and then we can scoot that close. And then because we have this one, we'll probably get rid of this one. And then what's something that's a similar size? I think maybe the tavernous? Are they like the same size? Oh man, I'm good. <laughs> They're the same size. Okay, put a tavern there. And then we also need a school and a tailor. Can we fit those in here? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, school, house. And will this fit in here? Are these like the same length too? Or am I just imagining things? I think these are the same length too. Dang. But there is, oh, there's a road right there. Mm, do I want to get rid of the road? Or do I want to put a road through it? Actually, you know what? What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this tavern out and I'm going to move it down so that way we can put a road through it. And we also need a spot for a blacksmith. We have one down here. Okay, we'll, we'll put the, the uh, tavern back in first and then we'll figure that out. Um, so we want one more over. There we go. And then the road's right here, so then we can put the school, so that way there's another road in between them. I'd like to put lots of roads in between, so that way there's, like, more room for them to move around and stuff. So there's those three, and it lines up in the line beautifully. And then I wonder if the blacksmith would be able to fit in here. Let's check out the blacksmith here. Because the blacksmith is kind of a weird shape compared to the other ones. Um, I think it's actually just about, it's a little bit shorter than the school. But if you put it sideways, I think it might work. Or maybe it wouldn't. It's actually smaller all the way around than a school. Maybe we'll put that on the other side here. We'll have to see. And then uh, I think I'm going to put houses all along the back here. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll... Um, put down a well somewhere in here too. I've actually never really had issues with wells before um, except for one time. I've only ever had one building burned down before and they were right next to a river so it wasn't that big of a deal. So here's six houses and then I think maybe I'll leave a path here and I'll put just one strip of houses and I'll put the well in here. So let's do that real quick and then I think we're going to hit time and um, see exactly what happens. Do I want about three or two? Let's just do two for now. And then, oh well. Oh well, there we go. And oh my god, look at this! It fits perfectly. And maybe... I might put it here and then put another house here. We'll see. But let's go ahead and just pause some of this stuff. Because we don't need all of it going. Uh, we'll pause the house, or the, the school, not the house. So with schools, uh, it makes it so that your kids turn into students instead of laborers. So right now, since we don't have a school, uh, which ones do we want to keep going? Let's see here. Let's just do like the first two houses. So we'll turn this one off pause. There we go. And we'll leave the well. They can do the well too. So uh, right now when our kids hit 10 years old, they become laborers, but once you build a school, I believe when they turn 18, I think is when they become laborers. So I'm going to wait a little bit on the school because right now I would like some more laborers. Let's go ahead and put all of our laborers into builders and then we'll get building. And then I think once they get these three buildings done, then I'm going to end this here. I'll probably go through and put some roads through here and stuff off camera just because that's kind of boring. But uh, I think this is going to be kind of the main setup for one of our little pods. It will probably change a little bit. Uh, I still need to get a blacksmith in here. And do I have a tailor in here actually? And I don't have a tailor either. So those are a couple things that I need. And I think there might be like one more too. Let's go check on this real quick. Our trees are still babies. I think I'm going to wait until this winter season is over because I want to see if these trees grow or not. Oh, I've never noticed this before. There's little mushrooms here. 
That's cool. I, I wonder if those are what the herbalists or the gatherers gather, if that's how you want to say it. And we already have some more people in here. They are builders. I'm pretty sure the game will autocorrect where um, people live. So that way they aren't traveling all the way across the map to go to work, which is kind of nice. So I think that's why there's builders in here because um, they obviously don't really have anywhere in particular where they need to go. And the well's built and stuff. Let's go check on these. So yeah, you can see most of the trees have grown. I think that's what these little light green pom-pom trees are. And so I think I can go ahead and we'll start... Um, I don't know. I still haven't decided. Let's pause for a second. I haven't decided if I want to get rid of the forest lodger and put in like a herbalist or a gatherer or what. Because forest lodgers and herbalists do not go together well at all. Like you only get like 30 herbs each time. So you kind of have to pick one or the other. But herbalists work better. Be 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 they work better in fully forested areas. So I might get rid of this and put a herbalist and a gatherer together and then just move the forest lodger somewhere else, maybe across the water here, just so that way it's out of the way and um, that way you can have two things together. Um, but yep, that is going to be about it. Thank you for watching the second episode of Let's Play Banished. Please like and subscribe and all that stuff and they go, goodbye.